This is Max Williams with United Real Estate, and today I'm in Eastern Henrico. Today we're going to take a look at a four bedroom, two and a half bath home. This government home is located here in a nice looking subdivision. This subdivision is about seven to eight years old. In fact, I brought you a video from this subdivision probably about four or five weeks ago. And so I am very, very familiar with this location. This home is in need of a little bit of TLC. And I know I have some of the most caring viewers out there. So you guys will appreciate uh, what this home needs. And more importantly, it's priced right. Uh, they definitely price this one to reflect the TLC that's needed. Uh, the thing I like about it is we do have a modern floor plan and all of the work that's needed on this home is pretty self-explanatory. It's pretty straightforward for someone to get quotes to see exactly what's needed from a, a dollars and cents standpoint in order to bring it back to its original beauty. Here in the backyard, we don't have a whole lot to maintain. This is a, a berm that is right here behind the home and someone could of course put some pavers back here. We do have a built in deck. This deck is kind of recessed. It's kind of a unique look here. Uh, you don't have it extending from the back of the home so you still have a spot there to entertain. Of course we have the low maintenance vinyl exterior. Somebody would simply bring in some seed and straw and reestablish this backyard. The home does have a side entry to car garage. We'll of course see that from the interior. I'm not sure what happened here. This is pretty unusual for us to see damage to vinyl like that. I'm not sure exactly what happened uh, there, but that's fairly unusual. One of the great things that I have noticed here in the last few days is that rates have absolutely plummeted. We have people getting quotes now below 3%. And that's great for not only home buyers, but also if you currently own. You typically are going to be paying more now than 3%, most likely. So it's a great idea to consider a refinance. There is a refinance product called the Streamline, and that is minimal paperwork. So if you would like to save some money, it may be a good idea to talk to a mortgage professional. If you don't have one, Give me a shout, I'll hook you up with the best and the brightest here locally in the business. Okay, as we enter, directly ahead is going to be our formal dining room area. This is an open floor plan, but it still has our formal spaces that are allocated accordingly. This of course would be our formal living room here uh, to the right. I'm gonna point out some of the TLC uh, that's needed. We've got a number of places where we have sheetrock repairs and carpet and paint would definitely be necessary as well as some vinyl flooring here throughout this home. Uh, there is some trim work. Uh, for example, here at the door, we can see uh, that some trim work is needed. All of this is pretty straightforward as far as what it's gonna take to get it back to its original beauty. This home does have a first floor master. We have a coat closet convenient here to the front door. Our stairs, of course, going upstairs, our family room to the left, and we're gonna actually start here on the first floor at our master. We do have thermostat here and our controller for our alarm system. And this is where it gets a little interesting. Uh, we do have nice tray ceiling, a good sized ceiling height in here. I just noticed the ceiling height is, is nice and tall. Um, here throughout this home, we will see signs of anger management. Uh, fortunately, it is really inexpensive to have those types of repairs done. Uh, evidently, someone may have had uh, ADD in the paint job. Painting is very, very boring, and we see possibly uh, some evidence here of that boredom. Okay, we're going to give you a shot here from this angle. A lot of people really like the idea of a first floor master. You just come right in, don't have to deal with the steps. If you have mobility issues, it just makes life that much easier. Have a double vanity here in the master bath. To our left is going to be our stand-up shower and our garden tub here. Nice and deep, great place to soak those tired, achy muscles. Okay, so part of our rehab is going to be, of course, 
a brand new shower head. We do have some water damage down here. I just stepped here on the base here, and we definitely do have a little bit of a soft spot. Uh, fortunately, that's just simply replacing some three quarter plywood. This home would require a 203K, uh, also known as a renovation loan, in order to purchase this property. It does not meet normal underwriting standards because of this work that I'm pointing out to you. That 203K is an FHA product. It has low interest rates. They have two versions. One version is up to 35,000 and the other version is over 35,000. Uh, that loan would combine the purchase price and the renovation cost together into one convenient loan. Typically, that's gonna be about three and a half percent down of your total loan amount. Uh, so in other words, the down payment on a $200,000 home using that three and a half percent down payment would be $7,000. Okay, we are now looking into our family room. We've got the interesting color scheme here. We've got chocolate and camel as our colors. Uh, this is an interesting tech, uh, feature here. I don't think I've ever seen this before. I'm standing currently in the family room, of course. We look through, we've got this pass through here. And one of the features that we commonly see with Ryan Holmes is the art nook. So you can put a little statue or figurine right here. But the neat thing about it is with that opening, you can see it all the way through to the family room. So it's really interesting design there. Okay, here to the rear is going to be our morning room. To the right, we of course saw the deck out back. And this is a really, really bright space here. Plenty of room. You could probably get three bar stools right here at the counter. This is a high definition laminate material. We can see that edge there. This is not marble, it's not granite. Uh, it is a Formica type laminate material. Double bowl sink, the stainless dishwasher would convey. These are 42 inch cabinets. You would simply need your own gas range. I know it's gas because I see that gas line right there. If somebody really wanted electric, it would be an upgrade to have an electrician come in and bring a electric line and then you could cook with electric if that was your preferred fuel source. Stainless microwave conveys as well. And then your refrigerator would go right there. Okay, somebody's gonna ask me, so I'm gonna go ahead and point it out. Whenever there is a trip hazard, they will always put tape on the floor. On this particular floor, we actually have hatchet marks. Uh, therefore, this flooring, this laminate, would have to come up and be replaced. So pretty much all of the finished flooring in this home would need to be redone. Okay, that's some more of our anger management evidence there. This is going to be our powder room, convenient here to the first floor. Really interesting colors in this home. And to my right is going to be, we've got a nice size laundry room here, plenty of space here. This is probably about 10 feet long. So got good, good space. You could actually uh, do some really nice shelving throughout this laundry room, give you some additional space in this two car garage. Okay, here in our garage, a couple things I wanted to point out. We do have an opener, and it does look like we'd need a new, potentially a new controller for our irrigation system. Uh, that's not very expensive. And we do have a gas, hot water. This is a tankless water heater. That's the word I'm looking for, tankless water heater. Uh, we've talked about those before instantaneously heat up your water on demand. Okay, let's go upstairs and see what our second floor has to offer in this beautiful home. One other thing I wanted to point out with the FHA 203K or with any FHA matter currently originated is that loan is what we call qualifying assumable. And that is a great, great benefit. You lock in your interest rate now. Let's say you get 3%. If you sell that home, in five years or 10 years, and the rates at that time, let's say have bumped up to five or 6%, that purchaser can assume your loan. They do the proper paperwork. They must qualify 
and you must do the proper paperwork to relieve you of any liability, but then they can go ahead and take advantage of that low interest rate. So you may say, Max, what does that mean to me? Why would I care? Well, it's very simple. If everyone else has a home in the market and they're offering it just regular in a regular fashion, and you can offer someone two percentage points or three percentage points less than everyone else in the market, your home is now cheaper than everyone else's. So it's a huge, huge benefit. We don't see really people doing that now because rates have been low for quite some time, but of course, eventually rates are gonna go up and then that could be a huge, huge benefit. Okay, this is our hall bath. A couple things I wanted to point out here in this one. We do have ceramic tile, really nice. That is an upgrade from the typical fiberglass tub shower enclosure that we often see. Now, I didn't quite figure out why they did a single vanity here and they had all of this additional space. I'm not sure why. They just didn't take it all the way across and make it a nice double vanity. I have no idea. Okay, we're gonna now transition to our bedroom number four. Here on the left, these are all good sized bedrooms. There's nothing in here that's like 10 by 10, so you could get adult sized beds in all of these with no problem. All of these walls up here seem to be neutral. Uh, we still would need some paint. I'm not sure they actually had a repair done there. That would need to be touched up as well. A linen closet. Now this is a amazing bonus room. We've got double doors here. This is not the master, because remember, we had the master on the first floor, but this is the size. This is actually bigger than the master up here on the second floor. This would be an amazing uh, upstairs uh, cave, or if someone worked from home and needed a really, really big office, uh, this would be a great space for it, or a playroom. Uh, a lot of different options here. This home is currently offered as a four bedroom, but a simple installation of a closet in this bedroom, which is easy to do, would now make it a five bedroom house. So if you have a multi-generational family and that was uh, in need of a lot of bedroom space, uh, this might be a smart, smart move. Uh, they definitely priced this one right. Sometimes we see these rehab properties where the pricing is not reflective of the work that needs to be done, but I think they did a good job on the pricing here on this one. If you have any questions about this or any other home in the market, be sure to give me a call. Please remember that less than 1% of the homes available in the marketplace actually make, make it to video. I can show you any home on the market, any home on the market here in the Metro Richmond area. Max Williams, 804-402-7788. I can reach on Facebook under Richmond Area Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Have a great day.